welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing a OWC data doubler in a 13 inch late 2008 model MacBook. We have already powered down, unplugged and placed our MacBook on a soft, static free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook over so that the bottom is facing up. The first step is to push in and lift the lever to release the battery and hard drive cover. Now remove the battery by lifting on the tab and set the battery aside. We need to remove these four Phillips screws from the top edge first. Now remove these four Phillips screws. Once all eight Phillips screws have been removed, lift the bottom of the MacBook case and set it aside. The optical drive is located here. Disconnect the SATA connector from the motherboard by gently using your nylon pry tool to lift here until it comes free. Use your nylon pry tool to gently move these cables out of the way so that you can remove this Phillips screw. We need to remove three Phillips screws here. This is the first one. Now remove this Phillips screw. And remove this Phillips screw. The last Phillips screw holding our optical drive in place is here. Remove it. Gently lift one edge using your nylon pry tool and slide the optical drive free of the MacBook. Remove the SATA connector from the old optical drive by gently pulling it free so that we can reuse it on the OWC data doubler. Now remove the two Phillips screws and the bracket so that we can reuse the bracket on the OWC data doubler. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the Data Doubler like this. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. Install the two black Phillips screws into these two holes to secure the Data Doubler and the SSD. Now install the bracket you removed from the old optical drive onto the data doubler using the same Phillips screws. Align the SATA connector and push it firmly into place. Slide the OWC data doubler in place, making sure that the silver bracket is under the cables. Make sure also that the data doubler is laying flat. Reattach this Phillips screw by gently moving the wires to the side. Now push the SATA connector back into the slot on the motherboard. Use one of the small silver Phillips screws that came with the OWC data doubler here. Make sure the holes are aligned and replace this Phillips screw with the one you removed earlier. Replace this Phillips screw with the same one you removed earlier. Again, use one of the small silver Phillips screws that came with the data doubler here. Make sure that all the cables are in the proper place. Align the bottom of the case and set it into place. Reattach the eight Phillips screws, making sure to put the different length screws in their proper location. Now set the battery back in place. Finally, set the battery and hard drive cover in place and lock it in. Your OWC data doubler and second hard drive are now installed. Turn your MacBook over and turn it on.